Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning subscriber, thank you for returning. If you are new to my channel and you are sub to develop, please subscribe to my channel. And also hit the notification button so that anytime there is a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. And also, there will be a lot of software engineering videos coming soon so that we all go together. So today we are looking at the tag 0x03C3 processor. So over here the checker will be released today at 12 pm. And this is a 24 hour project and the weight is one. So an auto review will be launched at the deadline. These are some of the resources that you are supposed to look at. So you can either look at all of these or some of them just to gain knowledge of what we are doing over here. So the objective of this is that at the end of this project, you are expected to be able to explain to anyone without googling for your answers. Then these are the general requirements for this project. We are, the allowed test editors that you are allowed to use are the VI, the Vim and the MS. And all our files will be compiled on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, which is the long term support using the GCC, using the option to all where all editors. All our files will end with a new line. And also, it is mandatory that anytime we create a folder, we must have a readme file at the root of that particular folder. We must also use the Betty star because our code will be checked using the Betty star. All your header files should be include guarded. Now before you start this particular task, we are supposed to take this quiz. So in case you are finding it difficult to answer the quiz, these are the solutions to the quiz. So you can see that we have the solutions over here. And the only way you'll be able to perform this task before, or the only way you'll be able to have access to this task is for you to finish answering this quiz. So we have the solutions over here up to question number 14. So when you are done with this particular quiz, then we can now start our task. Now before we do or we start our task, you must run your sandbox then after running the sandbox and logging it successfully you change directory which is cd to your root folder and inside your root folder you can see that today we are working in our als low level programming github repository so for us to do that you type cd alx low level programming then you hit enter then inside here you can now type ls now in the als low level programming repository you can see that all the projects that we have done so far all of them are here so the next thing that we are supposed to do is to come here copy the name of the directory then we come back to our terminal and type the command make directory which is mkdir and paste the name of the directory and hit enter then when we ls you can see that we now have our directory that we created over here and it is inside this particular directory that we will be performing our task so we must now navigate into this directory to do that you type cd then the name of the directory then you hit enter so right now when we ls you can see that there is nothing inside because it is just an empty directory that we just created now remember it is mandatory that after creating this directory or folder the first thing you are supposed to create is your readme file so to do that we type vi readme dot MD. The MD extension is basically for markdown files. So that means the readme that we are creating is going to be a markdown file. So after typing this, 
you hit enter on your keyboard anytime you open a file with your vi test editor it opens it in the command room so for us to be able to update or edit that particular file you click i on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode after that we can now input our test over here so i'll be using heading one and in heading one in markdown file is hashtag and i'll come to the top of the project and copy the project description that we have over here come back to my terminal and paste it over here after you are done you hit escape on your keyboard to now move back into the command room and you type colon wq and the w over here is basically for saving or writing the file and the q will quit and return you back to the previous page so when you type colon wq you hit enter to return to the previous page right now when we type ls you can see that we now have our readme file over here so after performing this task the next thing to do is to add it to our repository commit our file then we push to github so we do git push after that we can now start with our first task so objects like macro we are being asked to create a header file that defines the macro name size as an abbreviation for the token 1024 so to do that we will come down here copy the name of the file that we are supposed to create come to the terminal type di and paste the name of the file and hit enter now in the command mode you hit i on the keyboard to enter the insertion mode then we type our code over here so this is our header file that we are supposed to create i can see that this header file defines a macro name size for the as an abbreviation for the token which is 1024 so whilst you are done typing this code hit escape on your keyboard and type the colon wq to write and quit and hit enter then over here we can now use betty to check our code after successful pass then you can now do git add git commit dash m created header file create a header file then hit enter on your keyboard you can now do git push to push to your github repository when you are done and your and your checker has been released then you now click on your keyboard or you now click check code over here for you to check your code after a successful check you see this done will now be picked to become then from here we are done with tag view so we can now move on to tag one now tag one is saying that we should create a header file that defines a macro name bi as an abbreviation for the token 3.141592653359 so the header file that we are supposed to create is pi so to do that, you come down here, copy the name of the file, which is 1-pi.h. Come to the terminal, type vi, and paste the name of the file, and hit enter. Then, in the command mode, hit i on your keyboard. After typing our code, we can now hit escape on our keyboard to enter the command mode again. So that we cannot type colon wq and hit enter but before that let me explain this code for you 
We have been asked to create a header file that defines a macro name type as an abbreviation for the token 3.141592653359. So you can see that we have it over here. So we are now defining our file, which is 3.141592653359. Over here. So when you are done, you click on escape on your keyboard, you type colon wq and hit enter. Now this colon wq will write and quit. Now after that, the next thing to do is to type Betty then the name of the file because you have to use Betty to check. After a successful check and there are no errors, we can now add it to our repository. After that, we can now commit. Then after that, we can now push to hit up. Then if your checker has been released, you click on check good. After a successful check, the done to buy here will change to Then we move on to task two. That's who is saying that file name. They are being asked to write a program that prints the name of the file it was compiled from, followed by a new line. We are allowed to use the standard library. So to do that, come over here and copy the name or the file name to main.c. Then when you are done, come to the terminal and type vi and paste the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode of your VI, hit I on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode. Then you can now type your. So after typing your code, you hit escape on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode. In enter the command mode. Then you can now type colon WQ to write and quit. Now you can see that the code that we have written over here has satisfied this particular condition. Because we are being asked to write a program that prints the name of the file it was compiled from, followed by a new line. We are allowed to use the standard library. So after typing the code, we now type colon wq and hit enter. Then we can now use Betty to check our code. After no errors, you can now do git add git commit dash m then the message so i'll say created to dash main dot c then you type git push to push to enter so after that you can now check your code by clicking check code section if your checker has been released then after a successful check your done over here will now change to green then the next step is what move on to task 3 now we are being asked to write a function like macro abs into bracket x that computes the absolute value of a number x so to do that we will come to our file over here Copy the name of the file. Come to our terminal and type vi space and paste the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode, you hit i on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode. Then from here we can type our code. After typing our code, you hit escape on your keyboard. Then you type colon wq to save and quit. When we are done, you type betty to check your code after no errors you can now do git add git commit dash n and created function like macro then we now do git push to push to git up i will provide a link in the description below to the code that we have written throughout this project. Now, please, if 
you have or you face a blocker along the way. Please pause the video, restart and follow me step by step. So after, after finishing with tax 3, the next and the final task that we are supposed to do is the sum. Now we are being asked to write a function like macro sum x, y that computes the sum of the numbers x and y. To do that, you will come to the down here, copy the name of the file which is 4 samh Come to our terminal and type vi and paste the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode, you hit i on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode so that we can now write our code. After typing your code, hit escape on your keyboard, then you type colon wq and hit enter. Then we can now use Betty to check for errors. After successful check, you can now do git add git commit dash n then created sum.h and after that we now do git push push to please if you are returning subscriber thank you for watching my videos if you are if you are new to my channel please subscribe because there will be a lot of software engineering videos coming soon so that we all do it.